All right, so in this video, I'm going to find the area of this triangle. So what we're given is that this side length right here is equal to 8. This side length right here is equal to 6. And this angle right here is 60 degrees. So using these given values, I need to find the area of the triangle. So if you guys already know, the area of a triangle the common formula for an area of a triangle is one half times base times height. However, that's for a right triangle. This is not a right triangle, so we can't use this formula. However, what we can use is this formula, the area is equal to one half times A times B times sine of C. So in this case, A is this side length and B is this side length. And sine of C, well, we can label this a, B, and C. So this angle is C. So the area is going to equal 1 half times A, which is 8, times B, which is 6, times sine of C, which is going to be sine of 60. Now, 1 half times 8 times 6 is equal to 1 half. 1 half of 8 is 4, so I get 4 times 6 times sine of 60, which is equal to 24 times sine of 60. And so I have 24 times sine 60. And this is going to equal 12 root 3. So this is my area. Now, I actually have another way of getting the area of this triangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into two different sides. And this means that these two angles are going to be right angles. And now, this also means that this side right here, the middle, the length of this is going to be n times root 3. Because if I have a triangle with side length of n, this side length is going to be the square root of 3 times n. And this side length right here is going to be 2n. This is how a 30, 60, 90 triangle works. And notice how we have a 60 degrees right here and a 90 degrees right here. So in this case, well, what is n? n is going to be 3 because we can use, we have 60 degrees right here, so we can use some trigonometric identities to find that this is 3. And now that we know that n is 3, we know that this side is going to be n times the square root of 3, which is going to be 3 root 3. So this turns into 3 root 3. And this side length, or sorry, this is 3 root 3, and this side length is 3. So now the total area is 1 half times 8 times the height, which is 1 half times 3 root 3, which is equal to 12 root 3. So this is my area, and those are my two methods.